Well, perhaps I was a little too hasty in my optimism there, but um, I uh, a lot has gone on since we last um, since we last did this. I, I just put up our well, we're recording this on Tuesday. This will be up on Thursday, but uh, let's see. Um, we lost pretty badly to South Carolina, which. I, I hate to sound like that guy from uh, Alabama. I'll, I'll see if I can get that clip. Alabama don't lose to Vandy. We don't lose to Vandy. That is friggin' pathetic, Coach DeBoer. In here, maybe, where he's like, we don't lose to Vandy uh-huh. that you sent me a few weeks ago. Uh-huh. We don't lose to South Carolina. No. No. Uh, and and Latrell got fired, so maybe we're in the steps of the right. Game good. Something good came out of this. Um, so. just yeah. One thing that irritates I, I, me. I I can't even rant anymore. I'm just. Uh, should I give in to despair now, Dad? No, nah, we don't do that. <laughs> One thing that irritated me was halftime, as Beamer is walking off the uh, off the field, he starts getting cocky. <laughs> like we aren't going to go down to South Carolina. And take out our abuse on you next year, Beamer. Well, let's hope that's the case. Oh, we're going to. <laughs> we're going to. We we are very. Oh, the score's not zero. I'm not telling the team it's zero to zero at halftime. We're dominating this game. Okay. Three turnovers in the first five minutes of the game and twenty-one to nothing. Yeah, you can get cocky, but guess what? Next year's a new year. Like Granny always says, wait till next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 you could expect me to start ranting, but mm-hmm. in all honesty, there's not really much more I can say that okay. uh, has already been said in a few other episodes. Okay. Um, offense is really irritating me. Um, the fan base is really irritating me. I'm just really irritated with OU this year. Well, why don't you go to the intro and let's get into it. All right, yeah, let's do this. So uh, this is yet another episode of Day of us suitors where we talk about as we've realized this season the never-ending soap opera that is oklahoma sooners football i'm your host <laughs> i'm your host uh britain i'm here with my co-host he is also my dad todd how you doing dad well, aside from being sick. I'm a little doing? sick. You, know, <laughs> you, go, you go on these vacations, you get on these airplanes, and it's just dirty. It's germs. I tried to wash my hands, didn't work. Thought I'd made it out unscathed, but about three days after we get back, all of a sudden... <coughs> hey, I heard you cough. I'm like, geez, I hope you don't have cancer or nothing. You're like, no, I just have a cold. <laughs> Let's hope that's what but, it is. But, um, yeah. Uh, well, are, are you coughing up blood? No. Okay, then you no should blood. be fine. You no should blood. be fine. You just, should be fine. Just some old snot. Oh, so. anyway. Um, but well, yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, we lost to South Carolina, who actually is a pretty good team. I'll, I'll give them yeah. credit. Now, I'll admit. Their that, defense is good. Yeah, yeah. That pitiful offense they have. Well, or maybe we have a good defense. Yeah, we 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 do have a good defense. We'll talk a little bit further about that. But uh, have you ever seen? I mean, you've been alive what twenty three years? I don't think I've seen a debacle like that since forty nine to nothing. Have you ever seen a game where we've lost the game in the first five minutes of the game and it was just over? Um, I mean, I've seen us get beaten pretty badly. I mean, right. we we lost to Texas Tech back in like two thousand nine. We had those flashback uniforms, which that's. Usually cursed, to be honest, but uh, we did not have uh, flashback uniforms, but I, I don't think I've... Well, maybe OU Texas 2022, but yeah, just... We don't lose to South Carolina, Dad. Was that went over in the first five minutes? I mean, it didn't seem yeah. like it was over in the first five minutes. Well, maybe at halftime, but five minutes? Well, I mean, nine plays into the game, the game is over. I was just, I was just aghast, and I, uh, I just was, I was so sickened, I couldn't watch it anymore by the, like, third quarter, Mm -hmm. so yeah, Mm -hmm. and I I hate saying that, because it makes me feel like a Fairweather fan, as I like to say, dead not raise a Fairweather fan, Mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm, you know, I I, I can't watch the abuse anymore, you know, (laughs) it's like, God, think of the children, South Uh, Carolina. They were not thinking of the children. (laughs) It just, They made uh, the children watch that thing. Though, uh, our, our defense... Kept it from being a complete slaughter fest. So Defense I mean, put their guts out. Yeah. But when you have four turnovers, yeah, 
three in the first nine plays, all leading to touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, nine sacks, the most by any South Carolina team ever in a game. Yeah, I was I was I was relieved when they let Latrell go. Now, do I think it's going to be a fix all? We'll get into that. Okay. But uh yeah, no. It's just yeah, I I heard all the doom and gloom from the fans and mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. it you know, it's just not a mm-hmm. it's not our year as as people like to say you sometimes. Know, we're getting introduced to the uh SEC and uh I can't even imagine a worse start to the SEC. Four way, yeah. I, I thought we would at least do respectably. Yeah. Just we're not Mizzou dead. No. We don't become a middling team. No. Yeah, I, I thought we had more pride than that, but yeah, I understand. There's, I mean, perfect storm. A perfect storm, yes, exactly. You know, a bunch perfect of injuries, storm. offensive line that's new and for some reason really inept. I mean, 2020. I mean, I had my issues with the 2020 season, but the offensive line. I mean, there were a bunch of new guys. Or, mm-hmm. or well, wasn't wasn't didn't we have our? Well, we actually had a pretty good O line in 2020. So. Mm-hmm. I've uh, you know I've, I've watched some other podcasts and and yeah uh, I, you, some, I, I some heard former players I overheard and, you watching um the the Venable show I'm mm-hmm. I'm surprised he's not wearing a bag over his head after that performance but yeah that's true he's um, I wouldn't go down there and ask him why he's not wearing a bag he might slap you upside <laughs> yeah, your head yeah he might teach you why no um no uh I mean hey if he can show his face after forty nine to nothing I guess you know can't get any worse than that but right. yeah no uh, this was I mean. We got a touchdown, so I mean, mm-hmm. can I? Is that what we're hanging our hat I, I on hate these to, days? I hate to say that because oh my goodness! And then we, we tried to go far. for a, and then we tried to go for a two point conversion for some baffling reason. Got to try to catch up. Oh man! Anyway, before the game ever started, I thought we would struggle, but I didn't think the game would be over that quickly. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just pitiful. Before the game ever started, I watched a podcast with. Two former players that played at OU, uh-huh. and they said you cannot block the South Carolina tight ends or uh, defensive ends with a tight end and a back. It's not going to work. And lo and behold, what did Seth roll out there <laughs> trying to block those monsters that they have <laughs> at the defensive end with a back and a tight end? It, I- was, it was just. A- that's why he had to go. I mean, if our former players that don't even coach the team are calling it out before the game ever starts and says, do not do this, and that's exactly what they do, got to go. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm relieved they let Latrell go because I don't think it would have gotten any better. Yeah. Now, I'm going to try and be fair. I'm probably going to get blasted by a couple of OU fans for even saying this. I don't think it's all his fault. It's like you said, perfect storm. But... Before you start thinking I'm, you know, making excuses, uh, he did not help himself with just the complete ineptitude of his play calling. Mm, just nothing there. Just, no, uh, no offensive identity. I mean, what kind of offense do we run? Are we a spread offense? No. Are we air raid? No. Pro style? No. Two back? I don't know. No. I mean, there's. what are we doing? We're just running plays. What is our identity? What's our core? What's our base offense? It never was established this year. You know, I, I, it's just like, you know, and like, I was like, and I kept thinking back to that Arizona game. And I'm like, what? what is going on? He called a solid game. We were firing it all over the place yeah. against Arizona. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's, like you said, maybe it's a perfect storm. I have no idea. Oh, you fans, hit us up in the comments. We, we got to talk about this. I don't know what's going on here, mm-hmm. but, um... Yeah, and I don't, I don't and, know if we want any comments. It's, yeah, actually, no, probably we, not. We might hear something I mean, we don't want to hear. Even Oni Kuno, who's generally a more level-headed fan, I, I tend to think of myself, Dad, you know this, as a pretty level-headed fan. You know, I, I tend not to panic at the first sign of trouble. Yeah. But even he's going like, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he's even suggesting firing Brent, which I never thought in a million years yeah. he would say something like that, but... What do you think? Should we fire Brent? No. No? Okay. Have you uh, seen that defense? That defense is very good. Yeah. So no. No. we're gonna build this thing back up. I I I, I do believe I I still believe in Brent, but yeah, he's you know 
You know what's he made a he made a bad ju- or I don't know if it was just a bad judgment call or that perfect maybe it was both I have no idea I can't read the dude's loyalty mind loyalty got the best of him on that one loyalty yeah got the best of him on that yeah but you know what's best about being down so low in the valley it everyone loves a good comeback the mountaintop taste and feels so good <laughs> so so good South Carolina uh, <laughs> talking to you Beamer well uh well I mean um. Yeah, uh, we we I, I know you have the little list here that we like to put together, so I don't want to go all over the place. So where do you want to start, Dad? Well, I want to start with uh, what did you think of uh, Jackson Arnold coming back, playing some playing some ball for the Oklahoma Sooners? Uh, it was kind of predictable from the way it was looking for Hawkins, though I, a bit ironic, admittedly, because um, you know people were people were so just you know I just I I, I couldn't help but snicker a little bit. Because everyone was like, because everyone was thinking back at OU Tennessee that if we benched Arnold, oh, it was going to be saved. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jackson Arnold was overrated. And then, oh, look at that. Dude gets two pick sixes in a row. And hey, I'm not dissing on Michael Hawkins. I'm not saying this is his fault. Poor kid was oh, wow. getting murdered out there. He just. He was not ready. He's he, a freshman. Yeah. He means. It was in high school I mean, last year. I mean, it was in prom last year. Yeah. You said that last week. But, you know, as as Brent Venables and many other fans have said, kids got heart, but he is still new. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jackson Arnold, I mean, Maron, what do I got to say? My, my 1% Italian's coming out again. <laughs> what, what can I say? What has he got to work with? Brennan Thompson's pretty good, but even he's been screwing around. It's just... He's a deep threat, but you you know to be a. It's just it's just pitiful to watch. It's yeah. just like good. What is going on with Oklahoma here? To be a, a rounded <laughs> wide receiver, you got to be able to catch the ball in the middle. You got to be able to do some outs, and you got to be able to go deep. Brendan Thompson, all he's good for is to for the, for the you know for the the streak patterns, you know, down, down the sidelines and outrun everybody. But we did get a touchdown out of that, so. Dion Burks was catching balls and they couldn't, couldn't put in. I was just thinking, good Lord, utter ineptitude mm-hmm. by the coaches here. And it's making Brent Venables look bad. You know, yeah. I, I'm still rooting for Venables. Mm-hmm. I want him to succeed. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I'm, I, I know, because I've heard horror stories about how it was in the 90s. You know, we went from Gary Gibbs, who, you know, from all accounts from what I've read and from what I've heard from you, Dad, was mediocre at best. And then we got rid of him because we got irritated at mediocrity. Yeah. And then we got John Blake. Mm-hmm. And I've heard horror stories about the John Blake era. Um, And there were even people <laughs> this week who were saying that we were... um. We were John Blake tier. <laughs> we're borderline Blake. We are uh, the offense. Blake. The, the offense, offense apparently. Is, was <laughs> although Blake, when Blake was here, and I think I've mentioned this before, is it just we looked unorganized throughout. The, the whole team looked unorganized. Uh-huh. Kickoff team was unorganized. <laughs> you know, offense unorganized. Defense, it was just pitiful. You know, so. So we don't look like that. We look like we know what we're supposed to do. It's just this offense is his. Historically bad against the SEC, and um, we're not in the Big Twelve anymore. And uh, we, get, we have some for sure wins. And um, uh, South Carolina, I, I know you're kind of salty at Beamer, but I gotta give credit where it's due. They played the game perfectly. You know, they defense. Uh, defense looked pretty good. Hey, Beamer, if you ever uh, get kicked out of South Carolina for whatever reason, you can come back to us. Be no. an offensive coordinator. No, not we'll, after that. We'll, we'll take you. <laughs> not after running up the score on us. No, no, I'm not forgiving him for that. So. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I'm um, not forgiving him for that. So, what are you thinking? Okay, we've got two quarterbacks here. Both of them we've kind of dissed. You know, we've kind of we you know we jerked uh, Arnold out, which he you know he deserved to be jerked out. Back yeah, he's, he was he was making he's a bunch of the mistakes. the ball over, and then all of a sudden, you know, and then we've done the same thing to to Hawkins, and so. Can we keep either of these quarterbacks? I mean, these guys can these guys can jettison out of here at a drop of a hat. I mean, hey, Arnold still stuck with us even you know, even when we had our woes in twenty twenty two. So I, I don't think he'll be deterred. I think he's a I tough kid. I hope not. Hawkins, I don't know. I, I think he's you know, I I'm sure he's a I, I hope he's 
self-aware enough to know his limitations. Um, if you're either one of these quarterbacks, do you want to play behind that line next year? I mean, no. Somebody could be killed behind this line. I, uh, I, I hope I, I'll try not to be that dramatic, but yeah, it's that line is not giving me confidence. What about? We did have one bright spot. I don't even know if you even paid attention. You were so disgusted with the game, but <laughs> number eighty-eight, Jacob Jordan, little yeah, that... little white kid, uh, walk on. He was uh, don't was... usually get to play. Kind of reminded me of. Um... Oh God! It was that guy, twenty-two. Not not Bowen, but the other guy, the 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 white dude. He had that real crazy play in the first. Uh, Freeman. Freeman. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of reminds me of Freeman. Yeah, a little bit like Drake Stoops. Seemed to know where to go. Seemed like he knew how to play football. Yeah. Uh, so he had, I think, about eighty-six yards and like six catches, and he actually looked like he knew how to play offense. And I'd never even heard the kid's name. As a matter of fact, I was watching uh, Toby Rowland, and Toby Rowland didn't know who he was. <laughs> I, think... I mean, hell, I bet Brent was like, screw it, kid. Uh-huh. Take your shot. <laughs> uh-huh. And the so, kid just took his chance, you know? He's like... I, I, is he going to start this week? I mean, we're down to starting walk-ons at wide receiver. That's I a no shame. Idea. And, you know, some of these wide receivers that we have, Hester, he, he can't catch it smooth. I mean... Uh, Aside from the occasional just deep ball... Just yeets it down the down the know. field and catches it. Just again, perfect storm of the, just the two Zions or Zion. Yeah, the two Zion. Uh, wide there are people going like they're like four star recruits. I'm like they're not looking like it. They don't look. But like then it. again, with this offensive scheming and line and all that, how can you not be demoralized? Yeah. You know, I feel I feel sorry for a lot of these players. Yeah, we're gonna come back. We I, are Oklahoma football. That's true. I was a little worried that we wouldn't come back from the Blake era, and you know, it just took one coach, <laughs> one spark, and boom, the monster was alive again. Okay, mm-hmm. that's all it's going to take. I think Britton Venables is the right guy. We're going to talk maybe an offensive coordinator or two. I know you're not an expert on offensive coordinators, but you know when uh, you're you're more of the sports expert. Uh-huh. I'm more of the mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm better at like history, pop culture. Yes. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, what I see yeah. in observing the games and just what I know from the game. Well, But we, you're more of the expert. When we found Lincoln Riley, what I heard was Bob Stoops said, give me the top 15 offenses, mm-hmm. tell me who the offensive coordinator is, and he started picking up the phone. You want to come to Oklahoma? He got down to Lincoln Riley. You ever heard of that guy? Uh, yeah, he's at USC. Uh-huh. Kind of. That's where we found Lincoln Riley. Kind of, kind of. Kind of gutted the program there for a minute after. He gutted the program, but what was he doing while uh, he was here on offense? Uh, he was banging on offense though. Historically great, right? So I have to give what, it. I have to give it to Riley. Dude's an offensive mastermind. Uh-huh. That's what Venables needs to do after the season. I don't know. We're gonna see what's gonna happen these last five games. I don't see anything changing. I mean, we fire Venable or we fire uh, Latrell. Is that gonna make the offensive line block better? Probably not. Is that going to make these two young quarterbacks read defenses any better? Is that going to bring any more wide receivers kinda, that are injured back? I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking, uh, taking the L this season already. Yeah, but yeah. the only one I think we could beat. There's some more pessimistic OU fans like we might just beat Maine and that's it. And I'm like, yeah, well, we do have Mizzou, who is historically known for playing down the competition, so mm-hmm. we might have a chance, mm-hmm. but. You know, you've been getting after me for looking ahead, so I'm going to try and keep it to... We don't beat Maine, and Venables will be gone. I promise you that. Okay? <laughs> well, now, let's not even let's not even go there. Let's talk a little bit about that. this OU defense, because there's a bright spot right there. We didn't get any turnovers, although we had some opportunities. We, that uh, we that cost... quarterback's slippery. He's kind of like the Auburn dude. He was dude. slippery, but we... We stopped him. We, we were good at stomping him. him. We had six sacks of our own, so it wasn't like they were running all over us. And OU actually, if you can believe this, with a score of 35-9 to nine on the losing side, we actually gained more yards than South Carolina in the game. Our defense played awesome. Yeah, that's why I think it would be a mistake getting rid of... I, I think it would be hasty getting rid of Venables. Yeah. And we actually um, getting... won the second half... Six to three, right? Mm-hmm. 
Oh. So. <laughs> Ryan's texting me. I'm, I I should note, uh, some of our comments in the Texas one we just did uh, probably haven't aged well right now. <laughs> 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 to, I'll be honest, if, yeah. if Ryan watches this. But we anyway. Are, we are... Uh, but you were saying, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. We are always optimistic here, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we it, were even with. I mean, if those turnovers don't happen, that was going to be a great game. It just, it just, just snowballed if our, out of control. It's just if our if we had a competent offense, I think we would be playing a lot better than we are right now. It's just yeah. that poor defense, you know. They're just, I mean, poor Stutzman, man. He's just he had sixteen tackles. Yeah, that's that's just an animal. He, he he was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna take another year at OU. Give Jackson something to work with here, you know? I just don't know how, when one side of the ball is so inept, how the other side of the ball continues to play at such a high level. It's because of guys like Studsman that play to the standard, as I they was, say. I was going to I was gonna say pride, maybe. <laughs> He's got pride, and I heard that he was on the sideline saying, hey, it doesn't matter what the score is. It doesn't matter what the offense is doing. We, on our side of the ball, are going to play to our standard. So, and, and like, I think they only had, like, one or two successful drives against us. So, I mean. Right. I mean, they had. Those you know, turnovers killed us, though. Right. Four turnovers. We had the ridiculous fake punt. That's <laughs> just. Right. It was just, like, it was, it's Murphy's Law, man. Everything that could have gone wrong in this game just went, well, except for the defense. Most everything that could go wrong went wrong. And that, 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 that punt fake was just. That was horrible. They scored a touchdown on us there, and then this is what irritated me about Beamer also. They go for two on us. Wait, did they get I don't even remember. They made the they got the they got the two point conversion on us. So ridiculous. Just yeah. ridiculous. So life yeah. in the FCC is proving difficult, pretty boy. Well, it is just our first year. Luckily this week much easier. Going to Ole Miss. <laughs> How's that uh, sound? Uh, I'm I'm nervous. Yeah. Uh, Ryan has gone as far as to say that uh, he's not even gonna bother waking up for it. So okay. I do hope that OU will win, and then I can talk lots of crap to Ryan <laughs> about missing the game. Mm-hmm. Though uh, considering how we're playing, um, we'll see. It would be a monumental that would be, upset. That would be it monumental. Would, it would be it would be fun to see though. Yeah, have monu- have you ever heard of a monumental upset ever happening, ever in in uh, football ever? Oh yeah, they've happened. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Appalachian State, pants Over Michigan. Michigan, right? And I mean, just the other day, or Vanderbilt beat Alabama. Hmm? Yeah, How'd that yeah, happen? It can happen. Going can back happen. to that guy, we don't we don't lose to Fandy. <laughs> Yeah, now I feel the offense is or the defense is going to be okay against Ole Miss. I mean, you know, they've got a great quarterback, Jackson Dart. He's one of the best quarterbacks in uh, college football right now. But I still think our defense can hold up. Yeah, it's just if our offense doesn't give them. If Joe John points. can give us something to work with, which I. I don't know if he'll do that, but if he can, we could actually play a game. I don't know if we'll win because right. I'm just kind of like I don't know who the I don't know who the hell we're gonna win against next, Mizzou or Maine possibly, but we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, it looks bleak. So I hope sometimes you know sometimes a change will spark some energy within the team. You know, so let's pray. Do you want to you want to lead us in prayer here for the game, or you just want to move just, on to Lord? Please, at least let us play respectably against Ole Miss. And if you are so merciful, God, actually beat Ole Miss. Amen. Yeah. All right. There you go. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, it was a wild week of college. Football. I know. I mean, it was. Yeah. I mean, aside from you know OU getting pants, uh, pretty crazy week of football. Actually, it was a pretty good week. Actually. The one saving grace of the weekend. Well, there's a couple saving graces, but the number one saving grace, George Bulldogs, 30. That was a... Texas Longhorns, 15. So not all is lost. I watched the last few minutes of that game because, man, what an insane game that was. Um, The officiating was horrendous. And Texas still lost. 
I have to laugh heartily at their expense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Though the SEC apparently penalized them for that. I mean, I'll, I'll let you rant about the officiating because you watched more of the game than I did. I was worst <laughs> officiating I've seen in years. It was like those old movies in black and white where the Notre Dame refs were. Anything the other team did that was any good, they would drop a flag. It was just ridiculous. It was like... They reversed a, a pass interference call. Oh, my gosh. Which that that's... never happens. That's not reviewable. The Texas fans throw beer bottles, water bottles, onto the field. They stop the game. And then the refs start going, hmm... Let's go ahead and just change the call. Oh my gosh, I was I couldn't believe it. Even though it might have been the right call, but he just it's I've never seen such a thing. It was uh, it was I mean I won't speak on the call. I didn't watch that. I, I do remember when they called the because I, I think I remember you and well Mike McKay came over and I remember audibly hearing you two go, What? Mm-hmm. They reversed that? <laughs> I was just like, my lord. You don't reverse when it's a pass interference, and they, that's not a reviewable play. I don't think that's allowed, even. I, I, that's what I, Mike said. I've not seen it. I've not seen it in my 55 years of football. I've not seen him go, you know what? Nah. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and change that. It's like that. Or- the fans aren't happy. Let's change it. <laughs> that sets a great example for everyone else in the uh-huh. SEC. Just throw a tantrum. Let the fans throw a tantrum, and you yeah. can just just change it. Just change it. Yeah. Though just... uh, me and some other people on OU Twitter were joking. Oh man, if we had only just thrown a fit during the South Carolina game, yeah. we could have had a chance. Should have fired some uh, <laughs> beer bombs out there at him. So no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, but the better team won. I knew. I knew Texas was a fraud. Um, Thirty to fifteen. I mean, hey, they're a good team, but I don't think they should have been number one though. No, I don't think they were a top five team. But um, uh, I'm I'm glad Georgia. It was kind of embarrassing that uh, the officiating was this bad and they mm-hmm. still lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I can laugh heartily at Texas it as was we at do. Texas, the refs were solely on Texas's <laughs> side and they still could not beat Georgia with everything going uh, against them. Playing against nineteen, however many refs they have, you know, seven in the or eight in the eleven, you know, eleven Georgia players. Uh, Sheldon's seven. dad beat Texas. As uh, he just as well, there's a show called Young Sheldon. Kirby Smart kind of looks like Sheldon's dad. Uh huh. Uh-huh. So there you go. Yeah. Another good one that I was uh, pretty happy about is uh, Bobby Hill and uh, Tennessee Volunteers beat uh, Bama twenty four seventeen. Hey, when Bama loses, that's always a good day for uh, me. Saving ears over. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that fan base, I mean, they're not feeling like we are, but uh, they got high standards, let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're they're like OU. They're a very prideful fan base, mm-hmm. you know. They got mm-hmm. one of the most iconic football college football coaches of all mm-hmm. time, who isn't Bud Wilkinson, Bear Bryant. You'd be rolling right now. Mm-hmm. He did, I imagine he didn't lose to Vandy. I had no. Uh, <laughs> Bear didn't lose to Bandy when he was coaching it. Was, was that? I I hate to age you, Dad, but uh, was Bear during your time or before your time? Uh, during my time. Really? Yeah, during my time. Really? Yeah. yeah. Watched Bear a, for years. I thought he was a. I thought he was a little. Uh, I thought he was a little before your time. Have you seen this? Well, I know you're old. I didn't think you were that old. But yeah, that's a fair point, I guess. That's a fair point. Uh, Missouri twenty-one, Auburn seventeen. Auburn had him. Auburn had the Missouri Tigers. Poor Auburn. At home at. At uh, Missouri, uh, you know Auburn's a solid team. They just keep choking it, man. Like they, yeah. and Mizzou, they keep playing down the competition. They should have lost that game, but then they're like, "Oh yeah, we actually are a pretty good football team. Let's yeah. win this game." So yeah, yeah that was just well, that we, was sad. We feel confident we're going <clears> to <throat> beat Maine and get our fifth win. You have to have six wins to be bowl eligible. Yeah, uh-huh. Missouri. I think we could do it. That's who we're getting. <laughs> Mark it down now. Put it up on the Twitter sphere. Yeah. OU is going to a ball at the expense of the Missouri Tigers. Write it down. Yeah. Yeah. AM yeah. 34, Mississippi State 24. Mississippi State actually seems to finally kind of. They have to lose every game, or we're going to be in last place in the SEC. Although we beat Auburn. Auburn hadn't won a game. I feel like Auburn is going to win a game, maybe two. 
Uh, LSU 34, Arkansas 10. Dang, I actually thought Arkansas was going to do something against They're LSU. They're pretty good, and then they aren't. I, I guess LSU's just a better team. I, I have no idea. Yeah. You just beat the number four team. In the, how the hell do you not go like, hmm, let's get some pride, you know, yeah. pride of the hogs. I, we could actually beat LSU. Nope. One of my predictions that is coming true from the first of the year, I said I really want LSU to beat USC in that very first game of the year. Remember that? Mm -hmm. When I was talking about that? I remember. Because I didn't want them to lose that game and then start winning and gain momentum because I thought we might be able to beat them there at the end of the year. Now, that's out the window. Okay, (laughs) We are not beating LSU in Death Valley. On the last game of the year. Those, uh, with those infamously very kind and understanding fans. Maybe they will be kind after Shane Beamer was so rude to us, right? <laughs> so, no. uh, LSU 34-10, as Granny says, uh, every year about Arkansas. Maybe next year. Ah, poor, Maybe I mean, again, year. poor, poor, Ar- I, I actually thought Arkansas was going to do something. You know, they, they beat the number four team in the nation. You would mm-hmm. think that would, you know... If I were a team, Dad, if I were on a team that beat the number four team in the nation, I'd be feeling pretty good. I'd be yeah. like, hey, they I think we could do t- something. They beat Tennessee the week before, right? I mean, Tennessee, not a terrible team. I mean, number four team in the nation. You'd think they'd actually do something. And who's the coach for Arkansas that always says, turn that, that gum cheek box on? Uh, Deniman, I think Pittman? is the guy. Pittman? Yeah, Pittman. Sam Pittman, I think is the guy's name. He was on our coaching staff when John Blake was here. Ha! Really? Interesting. Unbelievable. And we have and he's, Rex Ryan. And he's, uh, and he's, I mean, he's made Arkansas pretty respectable. Yeah, they're respectable. They're still losing, though. Uh, Vandy 24, Ball State 14. Um, I guess we're going to finish behind Vandy in our first year of the SEC. Uh, all we can do is go up. You yeah, know, That's yeah, all I got to say. Yeah. I'm just going to not dwell on it. And then here is the biggest head scratcher. I, I don't even <laughs> understand this SEC conference. SEC has been chaos this year. <laughs> Florida Gators, 48. Kentucky, 20. After Kentucky embarrassed Ole Miss. Nearly beat Georgia. Florida can't play dead. And they beat Kentucky. I mean, life in the SEC is wild and crazy. It's like being on the Sopranos. You don't know who's going to get whacked. Oh, yeah. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Did not see that one coming, so... Uh, another head scratcher to me, maybe not to you, but uh, I think I picked Nebraska last week against Indiana. Remember, I was talking. I think Nebraska might be back. They might be coming back. I think they're slowly coming back, but uh-huh. uh, Indiana yeah. fifty-six, Nebraska seven. I think the new is worn off of Matt Rule. Ah. But hey, I mean, eh, he's only been there for like two years. I mean, they're like five and. Five and two? I'm shocked Indiana is eighteen. You know what you know what really shocked me, kinda of going on a little non sequitur, but just hear me out here. Iowa State number nine. What? what? <laughs> now hey, I, I respect Matt Campbell a lot. Yeah. That dude is a ferocious He's man. A coach. He is a ferocious coach. Mm-hmm. But um number nine? Wow. No, we were going to talk about, oh, you know, I said, I, I mentioned earlier that we need to talk about <coughs> offensive coordinators. A lot of people are talking about go get the guy out in Los, uh, our UNLV. I'm not a big fan of his. The go go offense doesn't sound too good. Sounds like the SEC will tap, 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 tap. That uh-huh. rear end. <clears throat> uh-huh. if you know what I mean. I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> but uh, 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 the University of Indiana. They get the number number one offense in the country, and they're playing against Big Ten competition, not against whatever league that UNLV's in out there. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe we could get him. I like and his name, his name. Oh my gosh, Shanahan, Mike Shanahan. Is he related to or, the? Uh, no, I do not believe he's related, but I like the name. I like the name. And I don't know if Mike Shanahan is actually correct. What's the coach's name out the 49ers? Is I, think it it's Kyle, I think it's Kyle I Shanahan. I think this guy's name's either Mike Shanahan or Kyle Shanahan. It's one of the two. But anyway, Shanahan. Please don't get after us for not n- remembering all these names. 
I'm a call center manager. I'm not, you know. Okay. We're, we're not experts. We're doing this for fun, people. Uh, <clears throat> another little glimmer of hope from the weekend. Maryland, 29. The USC Trojans, 28. Boy. Ouch. Karma strikes with precision, Boy, doesn't she? It, she does. She does. USC thought they'd really st- stole something. Oh, we're USC. We can get a... We stole it from the Blue Blood, Oklahoma. Uh-huh. There you go, guys. Live with it. You know, it's... It. You know, I, I saw someone on USC the other day, like some USC... It wasn't Barstool, or... Is it Barstool? Could be. No, what I'm talking about. The... Yeah. OU has one, Mizzou has one, I'm SEC. Yeah. I think it's Barstool. Yeah, it's barstool. Yeah. There's the OU Barstool. Right. Um, it wasn't the Barstool, but it was something like kind of like Barstool. I think it was a fan account, and someone was like, I, I, I got to admit it. I, I can't I, – I, I'm not being blinded by pride. I, I'm, I have to agree. I think Lincoln Riley is uh, that old damning word, fraudulent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Great offensive coordinator. Yes, he is. Great offensive coordinator. I would love somehow, some way. It's like Kevin Durant coming back to Oklahoma City. It's just not going to happen. But if it could, throw that Lincoln Riley offense with this Brent Venables defense. Oh yeah, we'd oh, be on. We'd, we'd be on. Uns- we'd be unstoppable. Oh my gosh! Al- like Alabama would tremble at that. Oh yeah, Alabama is done. <laughs> it was all saving, right? Oh man. Uh, Miami, Florida keeps rolling 52 45. I thought they had a chance to lose. There was tied. They're up, begging to lose. 30, They're begging 38 to lose. 38 all. I'm thinking, okay, here we go. Maybe, uh, Maybe the Canes can lose, but they they go ahead and pull it out they're, there. They're, they're begging to lose, Dad. I'm waiting for them to lose. They just haven't yet. It's yeah. real frustrating. It's kind of like, it's like, well, I don't want to get vulgar here, actually, mm-hmm. so I won't say. Let's but stay what, what, yeah, let's stay there. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's another example? It's like playing a game or something, you know, and you're just like, you're really getting into it, and then the power gets cut, Mm -hmm. you know? Right as you're about to beat the final boss of the video game, and the power gets cut. Yeah, It's like that. Yeah. (laughs) You don't even, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Your video game expertise is like Madden, and like old Mario games. (laughs) Good back in the day, Yeah, you know, 40 years ago, it was pretty good. And then Oregon, thirty-five nothing. They move into the number one slot every week. It's the new number one this year. So uh, Ryan just texted me not too long ago and was like, "Wouldn't it be kind of embarrassing if uh, Dylan Gabriel gone to the national championship year after year?" I don't think that's going to happen. But you know, we'll yeah. But no, yeah. I was like, "Dang, Oregon! Think of the children just slaughtered Purdue." Mm-hmm. Didn't didn't. Army and Navy undefeated this yeah. deep into the season. Yeah. I mean, one of those two teams could. They both have to play Nebraska or uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, that's true. So they they could both potentially lose to Notre Dame. Although I could see one of them beating them, or maybe both of them. I don't know. Would that be amazing if Army Navy both were undefeated going into you know that's the last game of uh-huh. the season, right? And they're usually kind of boring. Yeah. I've watched a couple of them the last couple of years. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Uh huh. But ahead. hey, could actually be a good game this year. <laughs> I mean, that would be amazing. So, all I have to say is, what a year in college football. I'm just... Might be the most ir- chaotic since, like, 2007, I'm maybe. very irritated that we are in the we-don't-care-anymore mindset, right? Yeah, just- I, I wish we were doing good so I can fully enjoy this crazy season no. of college football. No. Well, this week we've got uh, SEC. We got Bama versus Missouri, kind of the game of the week. You know, I'm saying Bama takes it, Bama's but Bama's going to slap them around. I think they're going to kill them. Uh, Texas versus Vandy. I'd love to see an upset there. I my common sense would say Texas is going to win, uh-huh. but uh, it would be pretty funny to see Vanderbilt pants Texas. Uh, oh, that would be great. <laughs> That would be great. And, you know, and things. before they start going, oh, we're having a better season than you. Well, let me tell you, buddy. A lot to quote Oni Kuno, a lot uh, of people are having a better season than uh, we are. Yeah. We, <laughs> we didn't the, lose to Vandy though. Historically horrible offense. A <laughs> and uh, M LSU. I mean, typically pretty good game. I mean, I'm. It's you know, I think LSU's about back up to number eight. A and M's fourteen. I mean, these. 
I mean, who's not ranked in the uh, SEC? And then the Hogs versus Mississippi State. All I have to say is go Hogs. We do not want to finish last in the SEC. Notre Dame versus Navy. Just like I said uh, earlier, uh, this is the first of that uh, Notre Dame play in the Armed Forces. And uh, Navy is ranked number 24 now. I, I haven't really watched them play, but apparently they're doing pretty good. So yeah. be careful, Notre Dame. They got embarrassed by Northern Illinois. So And then one other sliver of light out there is OSU is having a worse season than we are, in my opinion. <laughs> actually, I actually heard something the other day. Someone was asking, hey, Mike Gundy. As someone at like a, this could be apocryphal, I don't mm-hmm. know. But someone was like, hey, Mike Gundy. Uh, so what do you think about OU having a struggle this season? He's like, bro. I got enough I'm worried about, man. I I, 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 I laughed. I was I like, I'm like, you know what? I, I respect that. He's yeah. just being honest there, yeah. you know? He's like, I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's just like, dude, I got too much to worry about right now. <laughs> yeah, and then BYU, undefeated, is number 11. They're, they're playing UCF. I mean, but they almost lost to OSU. I know, but they won. So. Yeah, that's true. So, and then you said earlier, Iowa State's ranked number nine. Somebody in the Big 12 is going to be a top four seed in the playoffs. Boy, it'd be nice to be on that side of the bracket if you're, you know. I'm kind of glad the the playoffs are kind of more structured, kind of like how the NFL playoffs are Mm -hmm. structured Mm -hmm. now. So it's not just Bama, Georgia, Clemson, and... I, I forgot who else was no on name it. Team, whoever, yeah, Oklahoma some every year. Yeah, yeah. So that that's nice. And I then, remember me and Ryan were saying like, "Glad we've gotten that figured out." Uh-huh. And then a game that used to be the game <clears throat> of the year most years, uh, Florida State versus Miami. But Florida State is there. I mean, talk. We thought we're doing bad. Yeah, Florida State on they they're on suicide watch <laughs> over there on the uh, their fans. So yeah. Anyway. Anyway, should be a good, good, fun weekend. I just, uh, I just hope the Sooners can, you know, can bounce back and have some respectability. So, let's talk a little NFL here. Cowboys off this week, so we don't have to gripe about them losing. Yeah. So there's a plus. Uh, Lions, you know, the struggling Vikings. with a lot of the same things that uh, yeah. OU struggling with. Yeah. Just ineptitude mm-hmm. on offense. Dan Quinn's gone, who had a pretty good defense, and he's at the he's at the commies now. So, and actually turning the commies into a respectable team. I thought they were going to be in free fall for a few more right. years after Dan Snyder took his bow and basically gave him a last fu. And you know, I think he took a bunch of money. I don't remember. Yeah. But anyway, um. The Vikings were undefeated going into this week. They come against the Lions, and the Lions <clears throat> knocked them off of the undefeated uh, status and uh, beat them 31-29. to And then the Chiefs-Niners preview to the Super Bowl? I don't know. Oh no! Do you see that? Did you see that injury for? Well, no, you were golfing. Okay. Dude. Yeah. No, I did not see it. What happened? Oh, dude was running and just you could see his leg just. Who was it? Oh, I don't remember the dude's name. Was but it on the Chiefs? Or it was on the Niners. Oh. It was just it was brutal. The Niners are a little bit uh, snake bit this year also. They got the, the they got the injury bug. Yeah, the Chiefs just keep on rolling. A little twenty eight eighteen victory over the Niners. I have to say it, Patrick Mahomes. That dude is literally Tom Brady. Yeah. I mean. He can run around, and, you know, he's, I would say, I mean, there's differences, but literally he is the Tom Brady now. Like, yeah, he's just, he's like, Tom Brady. like he'll just pull wins out of his magic hat, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then the Steelers dominate the Jets 37-15. So I guess the uh, new receiver, Devontae Adams, did not help matters there in the Big Apple, so... Jets just are one of those teams that just shoots themselves in the foot constantly. So yeah, no, it's uh... another another team that has historically been really good here. You know, as of late, the Ravens they started out a little slow this year, but they're starting to get it rolling. I think you called this. Remember, I said I you know I was saying go Baker. Mm-hmm. Uh, they kind of came out and dominated there, forty-one thirty-one over. Uh, well, Baker. it's not too bad. Right, but I think Baker. I think they scored 15 points in the last few minutes there, so it was a blowout. And then Baker <clears throat> kind of made it respectable. So you were right on that one. And then, I mean, Ravens. I would say the Ravens have a better team than the Bucks. 
Though I like yeah. I, I like Baker. I want him to succeed, and I think he's got a good thing going with the Buccaneers. Yeah, so you know, too. go me through me this too. season, have a respectable season, and then come back. I think they might be even better next year. I think they have a good chance to make the playoffs. I think they have a good chance to maybe win a playoff game. So, and then the Cards with Kyler beat the Chargers seventeen to fifteen. So, sorry, Hardball, it's not so easy in the pros. Well, he did coach for the 49ers for a few years. Yeah. He even played his brother in the Super Bowl. That's true. Or well, he didn't play him. He was just a coach. Was coach versus <laughs> coach. Yeah. So this week coming up, our Cowboys are back in action. Guess who they're playing? Who? Niners. Oh, God, we're going to die. <laughs> this used to be a big game. Oh, yeah. Jerry one of the most, Rice, I, one Steve of the most, Young. Oh. One, of most, one of the most iconic plays in NFL history is that catch. The, the that, catch, yeah. yeah. the catch. Uh, the, the catch. One of the banes of Cowboy fans' existence. Uh-huh. That was before my time. That was a little Joe Montana versus Dwight Clark, I believe that was. But yeah, it was back when the Cowboys were just uh-huh. like, yeah. One of the juggernauts. Yeah, I think the Niners were just coming up right then. So is that one of the last? Um, God, what was that? What was that coach's name? Landry. Was that one of Landry's last seasons? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Before, yeah. um, before Jimmy Johnson came in. Yeah, it was not that year, but it was close to the end. Okay. Close to yeah. The end. So I'm a little scared for the Cowboys in this one. Yep. <sighs> uh, not any real big matchups. Eagles, Bengals kind of caught my eye. You know, we got big game Jalen Hurts versus the Bengals. Uh, Eagles are such a massive disappointment yeah, this year. Yeah. I actually thought they were going to. Di- and I mean, I, I hate saying this as Cowboys fans, mm-hmm. like saying I had ho- high hopes for Texas, yeah. you know. But I actually thought the Eagles were going to do something, you know, and they just. And then that Burrow, coach needs to get fired. Burrow and the Bengals have kind of disappointed as well. Yeah, so yeah, that too. It's kind of a big disappointment. Again. I'm a little mad that he beat us, but I kind of like Burrows. Seems uh, like a good dude. Yeah, Buccaneers. Get the frosted hair, though. I mean, yeah. You can't, have, you, you can't be a pro football player with frosted hair, guys. Yeah, it didn't do it. I'm the surprised the linemen don't just go shave that right off of him. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not understanding it, but uh, we got the Buccaneers versus the Falcons. Go Baker. And like, we, wait again? I think that's what it said. Yeah, I think they may be in the same division. They play twice. They play each other oh. twice. I'm the like, year. they just played like the exact two same weeks division. Ago. You play each other <laughs> twice. Yeah. I'm like, they just played like three weeks ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sometimes it works out like that. Then we got the Bears and the Commies, and who are uh, up and comers, yeah. surprisingly. Yeah. Uh, the Commies now. La- now, the summers fantasy football. Curse hit Jaden Daniels, uh, quarterback for. Oh yeah, didn't he get hurt? Oh yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, I got him. You know, I go golfing. I go. I'll just let that play out. I won't even watch. I know he's gonna do good. I come back. He's got five points, and they won like forty to seven. I'm like, how did he get five points, and they won forty to seven? And I look on their injury, broken ribs or something. I don't know. Maybe it's not that Hmm. bad, but. uh, I'm going to say that uh, Caleb and the Bears keep on rolling. And then the Chiefs against the Raiders. I mean, is there any reason to think the Raiders are going to jump up and beat them? It is the NFL. And I say this every week. I don't bet because of games (laughs) like this, right? I I would think that the Chiefs would just bend them over and spank them, Uh uh, as you like to say, Uh because... uh, Uh Raiders, like sorry, that. which sorry, Joey, if you watch this, he's one of my friends in college. Uh-huh. He's a Raiders fan. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'm saying the Chiefs got this one, can but they, you never know. Can they go undefeated this year? The Chiefs? <laughs> yes, I doubt it. But unless they, unless they pull some, you know, that Tom Brady. Randy Moss back in like 2000, what was that, 2010, mm-hmm. when they lost to the Giants. Yeah, in the Super Bowl when the, kid and, the second team. Tyreek had that crazy catch. Coming on his head. Yeah. How did Which, he do that? It's I, unbelievable. I, how did Eli do that? Unbelievable. I would he, say, I'd say, I'd say Tom Brady's much better than Eli Manning. Yeah, but Eli owns him in the Super Bowl, so that's for Yeah, sure. he beat him twice. Yeah. So credit where credit's due, man. He, he also had a good team as well, so that yeah, helped. That's true, that's true. And then a Monday not night to, thriller. Well, well, not to not to take away from Eli, but you know, 
good team helps a lot. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I do feel for Randy Moss, though. Man, that guy was such a good receiver. He was one of my favorites growing up. Yeah, he was great. He was great. Probably probably still is great. I'll take him on the Sooners team right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we got us a barn burner here on Monday night. Uh, Steelers versus Giants. <laughs> I'm saying the really? Steelers. I'm That's saying who we picked. I'm saying the Steelers got that That's one. That's who we got. That's who we thought was going to be the big game. I think I can get to bed early that night. So <laughs> I usually watch those uh, Monday night games, but uh, I don't think Daniel Jones is going to. I would say the Steelers have a better mm-hmm. organization. And uh, Fields was playing pretty good for the Steelers, but they came back with the uh, old Seattle uh, Seahawks. Old Russell Wilson. Yeah, Russell Wilson. Russell. And uh, he played pretty good. They beat up on the Jets pretty good. So, not a great week for the NFL, but the NFL, you never know. I mean, uh, just kind of underwhelming so yeah. far at this this season. Yeah, yeah. So, then again, I've been feeling pretty underwhelmed for the past couple years with the NFL. College football's kept us jumping, though. So. Yeah, that's true. Other than just being in uh, a depressed mo- uh, mode, you know, having to take a lot of. More big plays in college, I guess. I don't know yeah. what it is. More fast-paced, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, get on a little heavier dose of our antidepressants after this football season here, right? So. Yeah. All right, well, that's it, pretty boys. So we oh, got wow. uh, we got Ole Miss this week. Uh, this might be our shortest episode we've had in a well, while. You get beat 35-9 to nine by a crummy little South Carolina team. There's not much you want to really talk about, right? Plus, I think we got all of our ranting out of the way the last yeah. couple episodes. <laughs> yeah. Plus, we did, you know, two episodes this week, so yeah. we don't have much to talk about. So. Well, technically, we recorded it last week. I'm uploading these videos this week. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah. Any final thoughts? Boomer Sooner, baby. There we go. Dad did not raise a Fairweather fan, as I like to say. And then we're stuck in this 11 o'clock <sighs> mode again, which we were out of, but we're well, so crummy that we get stuck back at that 11 o'clock rooster start. Well, um, I, I, I will say I'm, I'm having a live stream with a friend of mine that day, so that worked out for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to happen around 3. So and Thank goodness we have the SEC network. I had a friend call me this week and had to... Uh, had to ask for my ESPN login. Uh, did I say that? No. Um, because they didn't have the SEC channel. See, we got it all, baby. We got it all. We will not be denied. Not <laughs> oh, be you denied. football? Uh, we, we, we got the game. Oh. If you want to see the game, come over to my house. I got it. I got it. I got well, it. yeah, we're playing uh, We're playing Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss, a, a, infamous, a very scrappy team, actually. Well, I don't know if they're scrappy. They're actually pretty good. Scrappy's like, you know, Arkansas, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, All I get to say is, we shocked the world! I hope so. I really do. Um, go Sooners go. That's all I got to say. Go Sooners. Love you, man. <laughs> Love you too, and uh, feel better, Dad. We, right. we need you. So. We need you. This this went uh, this went better than I thought. I was hope I was I was fearing you might start having like an attack during mm-hmm. the during Took the episode. Some medicine right before the episode. That works. That works. Little, anyway, little foggy, little co- little cold medicine fog going on in my brain here, but I uh, made it through. Anyway, um, I think that's all we got for this week. Uh, this has been yet another episode of Days of Our Series. Until next time. See you next week, folks. Woo! <laughs> oh.